You're watching Exit 1055 with your host, Richard Rose. Hi, and welcome to our show. Nassau County still facing a big budget deficit, and the squeeze is on still for the county's unions. Will there soon be any kind of a deal to save jobs on the county's finances? We'll talk with the head of Nassau's largest union. Also, our reporters Jennifer McLogan and Carolyn Gussoff will bring you some of the biggest stories of the week. And it's been talked about for decades. Is wind power finally ready to become a big player in Long Island's energy picture? You'll hear from the CEO who wants to put a huge wind farm off of Long Island's east end. But we begin with our first guest, and that's Jerry Laracuta, the president of the CSEA in Nassau County. Mr. Laracuta, welcome to the show. First of all, how many civil service employees in Nassau County do you represent? Well, um, in Local 830, we have roughly 10,000 members. About 6,500 of them work for Nassau County. The rest work for the Health Care Corporation. So it's a very large workforce, and it's the biggest component that the county has to deal with in, in coming to agreements with unions, right? Absolutely. Okay, so then it's very important what happens here, and you've been going on in talks with the county executive, Ed Mangano, for close to two years now. You just won a big victory in court this week. Explain the judge's ruling. Actually, yesterday, it was a big uh, federal win, um, a win for not just CSEA, but for all unions across the land. Uh, basically, it validates the fact that a contract and the validity of a contract stays sound. The U.S. Con Constitution protects contracts. And uh, Mr. Mangano wanted to have the unfettered ability to just open it up and take whatever he needed to close the $40 million budget gap. Yeah, there was a vote that was passed by the majority Republicans, 10 to 9, allowing him to cut around $40 million unilaterally, and you said that violates your contract, and the judge uh, appears to agree with you. Uh, strongly, and actually they passed a law that was illegal, and we told them that when they passed it. Yeah, and now the county is reviewing uh, its options, that's what they say, but they also issued a statement in which they indicated that now it's time for the unions to come to the table. Implicit in that is the threat that was made earlier this year, that you know without the kinds of uh, tens of millions of dollars in savings that are required, uh, not only by the folks in Nassau County, but by a state oversight agency called NIFA, that there's going to be more layoffs. Is that uh, where things stand right now? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's time that Mr. Mangano start governing, stop using political rhetoric, um, stop listening to party bosses, and start being a county executive. Well, what do you mean by that? I mean, I mean, uh, what other choices does he have but to go where the money's being spent? Where do you see that he could be uh, cutting money other than coming after the unions? And does that mean you think that property taxes should be raised now? Well, you know, I mean, that's the catch-all phrase. That's what we do here. We mislead people into thinking, hey, the unions are costing us the highest taxes in the country, and that's an absolute misleading, and it's an absolute outright lie. When you say lie. we, who do you mean by misleading? I mean misleading? all of government, you, the media, the everybody. Media. I mean, everyone is convinced. The right wing has spent billions of dollars in the last four years hypnotizing Americans into believing that it's the labor unions across the country that are crippling the finances. When in fact, I'm going to tell you something that's an absolute lie, because I know in Nassau County, Every CSEA employee, if you fired them all on a $10,000 tax bill, you'd save $300. Well, you know, some of, the, some of the critics of uh, the county executive and the Democrats have said that he should find some other way to uh, get the money, but they won't come out and publicly say that there should be a property tax increase to pay for it. Do you think that the taxpayers of Nassau County should pay more so that these jobs can be saved? Well, I think that the, the uh, taxpayers of Nassau County have to stop being misled and be explained to them how little of a tax increase we're speaking about. Remember, in Nassau County, only 70% of your tax bill goes to the county. Only 3% of a property tax bill pays for all hundreds of services. Do you want to dial 911 and get a busy signal? Do you want that ambulance not to be there? Do you not want the crossing guard to cross our children? Well, this is what it costs. I mean, it costs money to run government. Now, he's already, as he likes to say, uh, reduced the workforce, I think, since the lowest, since uh, Ricky Ricardo was playing the bongo drums in the 1930s. So, I mean, the, our population has quadrupled since then. That's not a good statement. All right. Now, other folks would say for 50 years, unions have had nothing but continuous growth. And the entire country is going through a recession. People are losing their jobs. Caused by who? Excuse me? Who caused the recession? The very well, people that are funding, well, the very people that are funding this rhetoric against the unions are the very people that caused this recession. Your Wall Streeters, your, your, uh, the mortgage bankers, the, 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 the greedy real estate people that sold uh, un unfunded uh, mortgages, okay, they caused got, the problem. We've got to focus on Nassau well, County and I the mean, situation that your membership is in. People out there, a lot of them in private uh, companies lost pensions. Uh, the government took them over <coughs> when the companies failed, and then the government paid them pennies on a pension. They see that there's large obligations 
obligations due to the unions because of uh, pension promises that were made by these politicians. And they're thinking, we can't afford this. Something's got to give. Uh, unions got to take less. They got to contribute more on health care. I mean, that's not an argument you just hear from some of the politicians. That's the argument you hear from taxpayers yeah, themselves. Because that's the argument being sold by the billions by the very, very right wing. And listen, the, I'm not saying the future landscape of public employment is going to not change. It is going to change. We're realists. But you don't change things overnight. You don't rip open contracts. You don't reach your po hand into someone's pocket. So again, what would you change? I mean, that seems like the only choice. If that's the only place where they can go to get some of this money without completely shutting the government down, which would cost your membership jobs, is that they got to make a deal with you where there's tens of millions of dollars We saved. cannot, uh, like I told you, uh, I'm going to say it again, if you took us all out of service and you had zero services in Nassau County, a $10,000 tax bill would only go down by 300. How is that solving anything? He needs to raise revenue, yes, he needs to raise taxes, not a large amount, but enough to keep the county healthy. He needs to continue to talk to the unions, but we've already given $132 million since 2008. One union has given more than some townships entire workforce well courses. we just saw a deal with the suffolk police well it's a tentative deal it still has to be approved by the legislature and there's a lot of questions with it already but uh in which they would have frozen the pay for a while and then future hirees would get paid less and they would also contribute into their health care what, what, what is wrong with uh, union members contributing into their health care? Virtually every American well, does that. I'm going to tell you now. something, Rich, and I'll, you'll be the first one to get the okay. scoop. We gave that same <laughs> deal to Mangano in January. Oh, and what happened with it? Waiting for NIFA's approval. NIFA, that's the Nassau Interim Finance Authority. Absolutely. State. Well, well, what is their role in this? Are they um, involved in this whatsoever? I think their role so far has been to obstruct any uh, movement going forward because they have handcuffed the county executive. Unfortunately, he asked for them. And he got him. Well, now, explain that a little more. You say he gave us a scoop here. You were in talks with the county executive in January, and what did you offer? Well, you offered him the same, pretty much the principles that were given in the Suffolk deal. You mean that paying future like hirees would, more? Would, would have a different pay scale, and future hirees would be paying into the health insurance. And, and Mr. Mangano was very uh, happy and excited about that. We passed it on to the control board, and we got a zero reply. Now everyone's hailing the Suffolk deal, which shows progression. Unions are progressionists. We are progressive. We understand. We get it. Leave my current le members alone. We've paid enough. Well, let me ask you Don. about that. Uh, most of these talks have said, let's put it on the future people. Do you create a situation where you pit members of your own union against each other? I don't do it. You guys do it. I mean, the fact of the matter is, if that's the wave, if the, we respect the taxpayers and the residents because we are the taxpayers and the residents. If that's the way they want to see things change, it's going to change slowly. It's not you just said, overnight. leave my current guys alone. So that's I don't right. think we're the ones who said it. You're saying that you should have a different standard for the people who come in. The rest have been there for a while. And it's not like people want to violate contracts or not keep pledges. It's just that that they're broke. So now if you're going to have to spread it around, isn't it more fair that everybody pays into it, not just the people who come it's in in the future? It's not fair that people that took a job under certain conditions and have already had to give back huge chunks. Don't forget, my members haven't had a raise in years now. We took a zero on, on 08. We've been frozen for two years with another year at least on the books. We've given back 50 million voluntarily. We've lost 300 jobs to layoffs, and they took another 50 million. Inc I mean, how much can you get from one well? The bottom line is, let's be a government and you know stop blaming the unions for the fact that you don't you can't figure out how to manage your budget because it's just not us. All right. Well, we'll have to leave it there. But thank you so much for coming in Absolutely. and talking about the situation in Nassau County still ongoing. Jerry Laracuta, president of the Nassau CSEA, thank you very much. And up thank next, our